Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of your number, Dale. Man, I got a guy here today, y'all. He don't really, you know how I say that. He really don't need no introduction. <laughs> That's what I be doing. I think I'm doing it. He really don't need no introduction, though. Really, y'all done seen him, man, on your TV, somewhere in your neighborhood, maybe, doing something for the community. You just oh, never yeah, know where so. you're going to see this cat at, man. My longtime friend. Who I talk about a lot, right? Yes. yes. Taylor Gabriel is in the building. What's going on, man? Yo, what's up, big dog? Man, man. appreciate y'all for having me. Man, we appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, man, it's been a long time. Been a very long time. Man. I think I've seen you since I was... Uh, you was playing for... Horn. Horn. I was in Horn. Yeah. No, you came back one time, remember? Yeah, can oh, you see yeah, that picture? Yeah, you yeah, came yeah. back one he, time. Did you see the picture, the picture right there? The wall right there? Yeah, that was when you first went right in the. There. You had been in the league. You maybe it right in front. By me. Boosie, nigga, I put you oh. by Boosie. The key. right oh. there. <laughs> I showed you that one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you came and seen me, Manuel. He hadn't been here. Nah. You the only one. Only, only the real survived. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, so you came and, and you told me, man, what was going I on sure with did, you. You did, and, you, and and it was a lot going on with you. Me and you talked about yeah. it, and it and it was it was going down. And you wasn't here that day. No, I was. I, I was in Cleveland. I you was went Cleveland. Cleveland. And, when I first and, got to and, and the girl, the girl say some guy football player or something. <laughs> came. One of the girls that worked for me. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Well, who was it? Taylor, I said, girl, you just missed out here. You could you could have been. You could have been. I said, you could have been. That was Gabby. I said, you could have been. Hell, that boy a millionaire, I think. You done messed up everything. I've been waiting on that boy for years. Oh, my God. <laughs> so how, how, how you been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Um, just grinding, trying to find kind of my way, my uh, niche, in, yeah. the, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, entrepreneurship, coming out the NFL. Recently retiring, what, three to four months ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, just trying to find that balance between being that famous Turbo Taylor, uh, Super Bowl, you know what I mean, always in people's face to being a dad, a family man, you know what I mean, waking up every day. And working on my entrepreneurship, my trucking business, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're we going to get into it. So it's the stuff that I got on the side. So uh, it's just, it's, it's different trying to find a good balance between the two, for sure. I really, I when I think about you and uh, just uh, everything that wrapped up in a bow and hand to my thoughts, yeah. I really be like, man. You, I'd have never seen it coming. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, man, this nigga too little to go to the I used to tell you that that, that nigga ain't there. And then I got mad when I found out he was in there. This nigga, what? I ain't nothing yeah. wrong with him. I hate. I yeah. said, this nigga, because I thought, I'm like, damn, if I'd have had his mindset, yeah. hell, I'd be somewhere else too. Yeah. But he, you, the, the way you didn't let anything stop you is just. Man, that's dope, bro. Yeah. Um, but hold on. Let's, let, you know, uh -oh. we know your story, but <laughs> our viewers might not know your story. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we want to go back to when you were a little boy growing up. Did you always want to play football? You know, are you an only child, single, you know, um, mom, dad? I, we need to know everything. Okay. Wow. Uh, She's going back down there. Right, 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 right. I'm going to keep it short. Uh, in Horn, uh, we're just growing up. I played football. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. I was always the little guy. I was never a big guy. I knew I was faster than others. I knew I had more ability than other people. You know what I'm saying. So, uh, at the end of the day, I didn't think it would translate to the NFL just because, like you saying, eat my size. At that time, when I was growing up, I didn't. We didn't have like little guys to look at. That's you right. know what I mean. It was always Michael Irvin's and Calvin Johnson. These big guys, and I'm not a big guy, so I wasn't thinking about the NFL. So I was thinking about going to school. Um, Becoming what? Bec uh, I graduated information systems. Okay. So my daddy was a tech guy, a, mm -hmm. uh, a um, developer in this encryption. Yeah. So uh, password keys and things like yeah. that. So mm -hmm. I do have, I, I can do that, but at the end of the day, God had a different story for me. And uh, when high school came, um, Long story short, my mom had passed. So mm -hmm. uh, in 2006, she had passed. And I kind of, I gave up on football. I gave up on life in general. My life had paused. I, I wasn't going to school. I wasn't doing 
too much of anything. You know what I mean? But what brought me back is kind of I just use her death in a sense to kind of motivate me. In the way it happened, her having an aneurysm, her telling me that night, uh, her telling me that night um, that she won't always be around for me. She won't always be around to to wake me up in the morning, to be that mother uh, figure in my life, to tell me, Taylor, you need to do this, this, and this. My grades was bad. I'm hanging out. I'm doing stuff that I, you know what I mean, I, I wasn't supposed to be doing. And for her to pass that morning after her like wow. whooping my butt, like she like gave a, me a whooping, yeah, right. She gave me a whooping that night, like, like she, she stayed around just to tell right, you that, right? She gave me a whooping that night, and to wake up that morning and she gave me two dollars. She was like, "Man, I'm not always gonna be here to." Did you save that two dollars? I did. I, I got that. I got. I still got that two dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not. She's. It was just kind of weird, you know what I yeah. mean? So she dropped me off at school. E and what's so crazy, man? Maybe five minutes later, she died. Wow. Yeah. I, I remember me and you uh, going back to that, you know, in here yeah. after that. Me and you talked briefly about yeah, it. Yeah, we, we did. Would talk. You know what? We did. I talked yeah. about God a lot yeah. to you, too. I don't know if you remember yeah, that, but yeah, I'd yeah. always, because that's you know that's, that's who, who that's, I am. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I just thank God that I was a part of your life during yeah. that time. And, man, you had a dope friend. Yeah. Y'all had a dope system, too. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And you was you always the a right quiet crew. one. Yeah. yeah, You had the right crew, man. Mm-hmm. And, just and, something positive in my life that was going on at that time. A lot of people don't know about that. A lot of people read about that by me. But a lot of people don't know kind of what I went through, that mental struggle of, mm-hmm. like, my, my, my faith yeah. and where my motivation comes from, where my drive comes from. And so after that, uh, I go the. Uh, I'm thinking I'm about to go to TCU. Or, yeah, you know what I mean, LSU or stuff like that. So another roadblock. My grades aren't good because yeah. of that year yeah. that I took off. So my SATs. We I didn't have anybody that went to college, so I didn't know about SATs and ACTs. So my SATs wasn't good. So mm-hmm. now like all my offers are gone. I can't get into college. I can't do what I want to do. So now I take. This one drive to West Texas, Abilene Christian. Mm-hmm. Never heard of it. I knew the, about it. Never heard of the city. Never <laughs> heard of what was going on out there. Country. Country. <laughs> very country. But I, I'm glad that I went. I think God put me at a Christian school because that's what I needed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it grounded me because I was kind of lost as a man and as a person. But it's a really good school, though. It's People a, it's don't a really very don't good know school. that because the school I used to go to, Southwestern Christian College, uh, all the kids come from yeah, that school yeah. and go straight to yeah. Abilene Christian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good school, and, and, and e, we used to go to church every day at yeah, twelve that's the same. in college. Mm-hmm. Like they used to make us go to church. That's dope. Mm-hmm. And I needed that, man. I needed that type of structure. Like college, I mean, I didn't party. I didn't. I didn't do anything. I I played football. I worked. Did y'all do Bible classes? It was a requirement. Yeah, we same had to thing. do Bible class. So it's like in the class, like man, if you cheat in this class, it's like man. <laughs> exactly. I was scared to cheat. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Like, do I cheat in this Psalms Bible class? We talking about Moses and Jesus. And stuff? <laughs> it's hard to you cheat. Know what I mean? exactly. Exactly. Man, so how did you find out that, hey, man, I'm going to the Cleveland Browns, right? Yeah, man. Uh, another crazy roadblock. Uh, NFL, I probably had the best pro day that any, any person can ever think of, E like. I had the fastest 40. I jumped. My vertical was high. I was excellent. I mean, everything that I could do, I possibly did. Every opportunity that presented itself, I was excellent at that. So uh, it gets to NFL, I guess, come the draft day or whatever. My name isn't called. I don't get a call from my agent. And at the end, all the free agents, uh, undrafted free agents, they already get picked up. Mm -hmm. So uh, my agent called me and he was like, man, no one like no one wants you, you know what I mean? Because of your size. So uh, he said, but we do have a tryout for you for Cleveland and the Raiders. He was like, you choose where you will go. I'm like, me choose. I choose. I'm like, you the Asian. You supposed to know which one is best. Which one is best. So like, E, I'm like on. Uh, YouTube and research. I'm researching like what wide receivers are here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is your job. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I'm doing that and I'm at my sister's like graduation party. So I'm like nervous. So I just, man, l- let's go to Cleveland. Forget it. Let's, let's, let's go to Cleveland. So get the call from Cleveland and uh, go down there on a tryout basis. I'm not 
a undrafted free agent. I'm not signed to anything. It's like a tryout. It's like E, like you can tell them, like let me try out. Yeah, you know what I mean. They'll let you try. Yeah, they'll let you try. Like anybody could go try out for an NFL team within this time. So that's basically what I was. And I love the fact that you were humble enough to just do it because some people be like, "Now I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna somebody gonna draft me." You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. So, man, that day must have been great too. It was E, but just my whole life has just been unsettling about opportunities and take advantage of it. And it and it and it's a lot of stress and anxiety that comes with that. But I haven't thought about that until I retire. So going to Cleveland, I mean, I get to Cleveland, my first day there, uh I they just drafted a cornerback or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, in first round, top ten pick or whatever. So we doing one on ones, E. So you know what I mean. I'm young. I'm 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 hype. I'm from Dallas. You know what I mean. Like, nah, I want him. <laughs> I'm show nah, I want you. You yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. Y'all slept on me. Nah, I want you. So we line up, and I even got the video. I can send to you, man. I run like four go balls on them. Catch it every time. E. Burning wow. it, boy. Burning them. Like going crazy, burning them. So we get into the whole practice, and then I get hurt. So, and it's only three days of tryouts, so I get hurt on the first day of tryouts. You pushing know what too the, hard. At pushing too hard, going too hard. E, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm burning the, I the, the I soul em. off my <laughs> shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, uh, the next day, I go up to the GM office and, you know, in NFL, talking to the GM, he like the Grim Reaper. You don't even want to look at the GM. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you walk in. So for, the, for me, try out, I go up and talk to, and all this is like documented. You can research and look it up. Uh, I go upstairs, man, and I go into the GM's office. I knock on his office, and uh, I look at him and tell him, like, sir, if you give me an opportunity to be on this team, to sign me to a mini camp, I'll be the best decision that you've ever made in your career. I told him that, the GM that. I told him that. I'm, I'm betting on myself. So – he uh, he were you l- nervous going up there to even say that, <laughs> man? I, you know, I'm from Dallas. Man. Yeah, you know, man. I believe I'm in from me. the D, man. Keep it going, you man. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the D. I'm finna, I'm finna shoot my shot. My shot finna get. It's, oh, it's okay. finna, I'm finna shoot it. Okay. So I, 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 I believe in me. At the end of the day, that's good. When hearing all this, I, I honestly believe in myself. No matter the situation. See, y'all hear that? Y'all have to believe in yourself. Yes. No matter the situation. Yeah. No matter the situation, I'm, and I'm never hesitant. I'm That's always good. go at it. I like uh, that. I'm always go at 100 miles per hour. What that GM say? He uh, he looked at me and laughed. <laughs> 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 he looked at me and laughed, man. I'm 165, soaking wet. You know what I mean? They got Greg Little, Josh Gordon. He's not worried yeah. about me. So um, he gives me an opportunity, though, because he sees kind of my fire and and, right. and kind of my fortitude and what I'm trying to do. So, e man, we get into uh, uh off to the off season and uh, and getting the training camp. And I mean, I'm having the best training camp that you can ever even think of. I'm on special teams. I'm burning people down. I'm doing everything possible that I can do uh, to make this team. You know what I mean? To be a char- to be on the back of the roster. To uh to to make a team is kind of it's kind of unheard of to make a team as a tryout. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So we get to uh, but the don't co- tryouts. Sorry, but don't tryouts normally would push even harder than the people who they already picked. But you can. But at the end of the day, with football, uh, if he's better than you, he's better than you. If you're a tryout, a reason that you're a tryout. Mm. You know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I felt like I got slipped on. I felt like I wasn't supposed to be a tryout. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be a first round draft pick, but it's the it's just the simple fact they slipped on me because of my size. Right. That's why I was a trial. It wasn't my athletic ability. It's just I need to be in front of you to see you. Cause on paper, when you look at five eight, a hundred and sixty two pounds, that don't look too good. You know what I'm saying? But to actually see me in front of your face and doing my thing, it's a different thing. So mm-hmm. we get to training camp. I'm balling in training camp. Uh, we get to cuts. I make the team. I make the team, man. I make the team, and uh, I would have never thought that I would have made that team coming from a tryout, coming from what I was. And I was competing with, like, five other guys, E. Like, I was competing with five other guys mm-hmm. that are in the NFL right now, oh, yeah. and they have great uh, careers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I beat out a lot of, like, top guys. How did it feel when you heard that that, that you had made the team? Like, that day, how did like? Cause E, when I left college, a funny story. When I left college, man, my car broke down. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I'm, going through it. Yeah, I'm going through. I'm like, man, leave that car. I left all my stuff in it. It's probably still in Abilene somewhere. <laughs> 
I left that car, man. I I left everything and from from and when I got that car, I was like, man, now I'm able to like buy myself a car. Mm -hmm. I'm able to, you know what I mean? Pay pay yes, pay, pay 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 wifey back to everything that she invested in me. I'm I'm staying with her during during this whole process. I'm staying with my aunt. Dope. I got thirty dollars to my name. I'm jumping from car to car, eating McDonald's, working out. You know what I mean? I ain't have nothing to my name. At the time, so to have that there is like, go. man. The first thing I bought, man, I bought myself a, a Dodge Challenger, man. V hey. six. Nobody can, yeah, they can tell me. That's nothing the same about. one you drove over. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Man, they can't tell me nothing about that car, man. That was my first. <laughs> purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing was right. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't. That, it wasn't that cheap one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you, but after, you, okay, I, and I don't want because I know that we could talk forever. But yeah. when you went from there to San, to uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, how did that happen? Uh. After two years there in Cleveland, I was hurt that last year and uh, brought a new regime, new head coach and things like that. And I mean, I had a good I had a good, decent count. But with NFL and kind of football, uh, the GMs kind of have their favorites in a sense. Someone could be better, but they've invested more into this guy. I'm kind of giving y'all the, the, mm -hmm, the inside mm -hmm. scoop mm -hmm. on the NFL. So everything isn't always fair. You know what I mean? So if they invest, it's a lot of politics. So if you invest more into somebody, that GM, he's going to want to push his guy. Yeah. He's not going to want to push this other guy that he has no ties to. Correct. You know what I mean? So I kind of got stuck into that. So my offensive coordinator was in Cleveland. He went to Atlanta. So when I got cut, I got cut at – I got cut in the morning at 10 o'clock. I got picked up by Atlanta. And I was on a flight at uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon wow. in Atlanta. Yeah. Blessed. Bl blessed. 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 So really? that, was that Shanna, Sh Shanahan? Shanahan. Cal, Cal Shanahan. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I come home and I tell wifey, like, man, we're going to Atlanta. Like, pack up your things. Let's go. Yeah, pa pack, <laughs> pack it up. You know what I mean? I just bought this apartment. Just. Put furniture in it, you know what I mean? So pack up your things, let's go. So I fly to Atlanta, and I get there, and it's a whole different dynamic, a whole different structure of team. Like, this is what the NFL looks like. Man, I walk into the locker room, they jamming, uh, they jamming all this rap. In Cleveland, we couldn't listen to rap music. It was a lot of stuff that we couldn't do. Man, I walk in Atlanta, man. They listen to rap different. music. They got their city. <laughs> they like, like say, DC, man. nigga. We party. Man, up. man yeah. I feel like I'm in Magic City. <laughs> man, they got their shirt out. They rolling dice. I'm like, man, this is what NFL look like. You know what I'm saying? So hey, when, when that first happened, I was like, man, it's just a blessing that God put me in these situations to succeed. And then E, I when you go from getting cut at 10, being on a plane at 3, and then... I think I slept. I slept at Josie's house. You know, yeah, I, yeah, think yeah. When I slept at mm -hmm. Josie's house that night, and in the morning I had practice. So that morning it was like a prove yourself type of practice mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Yeah. So to go from getting cut at ten to being on a flight at three to sleeping at your homeboy house, you're in the NFL. I'm sleeping at my homeboy house, and then waking up that morning on a prove yourself mm -hmm. type of deal. Wow. So man, yeah, I'm looking at Julio Jones. I already know, man. Muhammad Sanu. I'm looking at these. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Matt Ryan I'm like oh my Man, god when you get traded dope. though um, and you move to another team how hard is it to build a now, when relationship you get cut, when you get cut, cut yeah, yeah say cut yeah, you gotta cut. say cut when you get cut <laughs> I want to feel it and you now you know um, found a new home how hard is it for you to build that relationship with your new teammates it's it's I mean it's 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 through anything because we men yeah and and with men you got to gain my respect and with you gaining my respect you got to show me something you know what I'm saying mm. like you got to show me why you're here you got to show me why I should respect you got to show me why I should talk to you so that's just kind of that's football it's it's a violent sport and it's very like on some sports at three hundred type stuff mm -hmm. so I, I I get up that morning and I go against like Rocky uh um uh, Robert Alfred. And he's known for being an aggressive, aggressive DB. Dude, yeah. So I ain't know that. You know what I mean? So my first snap after, I'm going against him, and he, like, jump oh, jammed yeah. me. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. he hit me all in my, in my face mask and stuff. Damn. So it's like I'm on the yard. You know what I mean? I'm like, I can't show these people I'm no punk. You know what I mean? So I slap off and hit him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. 
we arguing and stuff. So throughout the whole thing, he's guarding me. So I guess they told him to guard me just to see where I was mm-hmm. and where I was at. And after that first rep, e man, I cooked him the whole practice. I already man. know. He he, I, I think he got me paid that day. <laughs> you know what I'm so, so, but, but but the thing is, like when you go into a situation like that and and dealing with these guys, Julio Jones being maybe. Uh, notably wanted the yeah. best to do yeah. it at, at that at, at, at that time yeah. I was more worried about damn they gonna hurt my boy I always <laughs> used to say that and I be in the bed I didn't, I quit I don't even yeah. watch football bro yeah. I, you, I, you made me to work cause I don't enjoy it no more yeah. like I used to yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you played I would watch it then mm-hmm. religiously I would not yeah. and I tell my brother I'll be like man I don't care whoever he playing against I'm against him you know what I'm saying I don't give a damn <laughs> yeah. whoever he with I'm with him yeah. you know what I'm saying so yeah. and, and I, I just when I seen that I seen Julio I was like dang that's gonna Really get, I felt like you was gonna really shine because they gonna be trying to guard the, yeah, the hell out of Julio. Julio. Yeah. I'm like, and they gonna throw it to that little nigga, and that little right. nigga ain't gonna fold. You right. You know what I'm saying? You right. You right. That's the way I thought you're about right. it. And you know? you're right. And that's exactly how it happened, man. Just throughout my whole career, I'm sorry, it's just been opportunity. Just take advantage of it. If, if someone's to, to always say, like, man, um, what did you do with your opportunity? I feel like everyone has a chance in their life like a certain window, a certain opportunity where they become, can become that person that they think they are or the mm-hmm. goals are rich and famous or whatever you want to be in life. It's always one turning point in your life to where you have that opportunity is what you do with that opportunity. And with me, I can honestly say, E, like every opportunity I had, I mean, I did my thing with it. Like, I didn't fumble the ball. I didn't drop it. I did exactly what I envisioned myself doing and more. And I think that's what separates me from the average person is because mentally I was already that person. Mentally I was who I was, who I am today. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think that kind of just – I never doubted myself through any opportunity, through any situation. There was never any doubt. And I think that kind of helped me put me in the position that I am today. And I love that. I really love that because some people, opportunity comes to everyone. For sure. But the thing is that some people, because, and we all have our ups and downs because you had ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. Some people get so angry because of all of those downs that they overlook those opportunities. They're blinded by the anger, the hate, all of that, and overlook it. And that's why they don't see it. They can't grasp that opportunity. But I love the fact that you were able to see it and go head on for it. No matter what you were going through, you still believed in yourself. I knew that you were worth more than whatever troubles that you were going through. Right. But but how did it feel to have them come back on you in that Super Bowl? I was mad. <laughs> Let me tell you something, nigga. I was game. mad. Man, I'm about to hear you. I told you you can't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I was like, I was mad as hell. Yeah. I like, that day, that was a bad day. And this dude next door that you had met, uh, you remember the Indian dude next yeah, door yeah, uh, yeah, or yeah. the Egyptian dude? He called me in the middle of the game. Looked like your boy for the win a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? You, you met yeah, him. Yeah, I met him. Yeah, for yeah, sure. And I was like the Egyptian guy, uh, Mike. Mike is the guy next door. And I was like, man. And then after that, he called me. I don't look like, I'm like, dog, don't call me. I was so mad. <laughs> I was upset because I felt like I lost, oh you know. But that was a tough, that was tough. I, that's when I decided in my heart that football is real. <laughs> 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 that day, that was my day. And I was like, no, you so was up. I said, damn, the, no, the point spread. The point spread right. is off. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> So when you went, what what caused the uh, how did you end up in Chicago? I'm just uh, trying to walk through this football yeah, thing yeah, right quick. Yeah, I, I mean after playing in the Super Bowl, uh, I kind of made a name for myself, the Turbo Taylor name or whatever it is. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, uh, I kind of made a name for myself, and I think that kind of carried me out through the rest of my career. And uh, with Atlanta, just and just being honest on this show, I know I can talk real oh, on this, this show. show. This boss talk, what a boss is talking. Uh, yeah, yeah. With Atlanta, I had an opportunity that summer. To uh, sign a a, a, a a nice little deal in Atlanta, man. Like inside scoop, dude. Like DQ, uh, yeah. DQ, the the, the the defensive coordinator that's here in Dallas right now. That was my head coach. Okay. So uh, he brought me up to his uh, office, man. He signed something on a piece of paper, and he signed like a cash sign, like a money sign. You know what I mean? So he was like, Turbo, he called me TG. Like you deserved it. You just write down the number that you want. Dope. You know what I mean? So I'm right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you go up high? Like, you know let me go did. high. I'm going to go up high. You, know you know I did. And uh, he was like, man, we're we going to get this done. 
So what happened was in the Super Bowl, I fractured my tibia. Okay. And I played through it, but I shouldn't have. And uh, that kind of messed me up. So that offseason, DQ is real big on uh, camaraderie, mm -hmm. uh, football camaraderie, mm -hmm. and uh, just being involved. So, man, E, I'm trying my best to work through the pain and go through the pain, but I couldn't. So that whole offseason, I didn't do anything. So it was kind of like it, it wasn't a good look on the behalf of me about to get paid you know what i'm right. saying because i'm a uh he i'm i'm a white white collar third down whatever receiver that i am you know what I mean? i'm not julio jones i can't do that yeah so um we get to uh the season and uh with matt ryan like man i'm spilling all the beans on here no go ahead <laughs> i'm right here that's what we're here yeah, for yeah we with, make you real comfortable yeah right yeah there. right <laughs> With uh with Matt and the, and the whole reason why I didn't sign back in Atlanta was because with Matt Ryan, um, just my not my work ethic, just I couldn't give him what what he was looking for. Okay, because of my shin. So when we were, we would we when we would run routes, I couldn't run as fast, and he wants that in game look. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess it came off as me like. Not giving a hundred percent of my work ethic being off, but yeah, I, I literally couldn't. I had to warm that thing up before I get going because I was in mm -hmm. excruciating pain. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I had to deal with that for the longest. So we kind of fell out over that, and uh, the the deal kind of fell out on the wayside. Uh, we never kind of uh, uh, came back to contract yeah, yeah, talks. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I was having a good year that year. You know what I mean? So it came to a point in that year to where it was like, man, I got to look out for myself. Mm -hmm. I can't keep putting myself in these bad situations because if I get hurt, like, man, I, ain't nobody going to want to sign me. I'm, I'm right. You know what I mean? So it was just a, a, a weird time in my life because I went from being up there signing that number, me seeing that, to now I'm kind of like, uh, oh, I, I really don't want you. But I, I just I want you here to make plays when it's here yeah. to be made. So at the back end of that year, man, it was it was kind of weird, man, to be honest. But going into that offseason, I knew that somebody would pick me up, but I didn't know. Emmanuel was there uh, the day that I got the call from uh, Chicago, Chicago Bears, man. And, uh, man, I'm nervous the whole day. My anxiety bad. I'm like, man, ain't nobody going to pick me up. I'm seeing all this money going across the screen. All my home was getting paid. $36 million, E42 million. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm colder than him. <laughs> $36 million. Like, I'm $36 million. You know what I mean? Everybody getting paid. And I never hated on them. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew it was always going to be a time for me. No matter what the opportunity was, so man, my agent called me e at the back end of the day before it, deadline closes, maybe like ten minutes before it was supposed to close. He called me. He was like, "Turbo, uh, I got a deal for you." I'm like, "Man, what it is? I'm thinking it's like a little one year. You know what I mean? Look, two two point five two million. I say, man, I could. I'm straight. I'm from Dallas, man. I don't know what two point five million looking like. You know what I mean? So. Man, he, he he called me. He was like, man, Turbo, we got a deal for you for, uh, it was like a three-year, $15 million deal. Yeah. Like, $15 million. Yeah. I'm like, take it. I'm like, hey, I'm talking to E. I'm like, take it. I'm like, take it, take it, take it. And my agent's on the phone. He was like, man, like, like chill, like, relax. Man, I'm giving y'all the inside scoop. Yeah. He telling me, like, chill, chill, relax. I'm going to get you more. I'm like, dog, it's Fourteen million dollars, man. Yeah. How much more agent. I need? You know, what yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm straight with fourteen million. You know what I mean? How much more can I get? So, e, it's probably a minute before the deadline, and I'm, I think I'm feeling a little faint. I'm feeling pass out because <laughs> I think he done messed up on the fourteen million. So, man, e and he can attest to all this, man. He called me back. He said, "Man, Taylor, I got you four. I got you four years for twenty six million dollars mm. with fourteen million dollars guaranteed." And everything up front in the first two in the first two years that's dope so i'm like man this can't be real dog. you gotta send that contract i need to see something so man i i get in i tell my family and i see it all on espn everybody hit me up everybody blowing me up it just it just kind of reverted me back to just my faith and opportunities man just never lose faith and uh doubt just never doubt yourself man just always think positive never think a negative, you know what I mean, outcome on what you're trying to do. Yeah. And for me to come from what we all come on, we just man. talked about. Come on, man. Four years for $26 million 
it kind of always told God growing up, like God, if you put me in this, if you put me in this position, I promise that I will use this to help others and put other people in position. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that's what He did. I, I don't think this money is just for me, but it's for everybody that yeah. I can touch. That's, man, so, let me tell you that's so good when you can see the purpose. Yeah, yeah, you know and then I mean? the maturity level, man. Like yeah. I seen you. You just talked about being a going from a from a young a young man to maturity. Maturity. You was like, all right, they told me to sign here. I, I signed the paper. Yeah. Uh, to to going all the way, you know, through Atlanta to get to that to Chicago. And and self awareness is everything. Yeah, man. yeah. You to going to talk to the GM and yeah, all, all the self-awareness that's understanding crazy, who man. you are yeah when I think that's about important it. man most people don't have uh the confidence level to do a lot of right. the stuff that you just talked about right so it's really just having that confidence and self-awareness and all the the god willing text and stuff that you yeah. put at the end of yeah. everything you was doing yeah. all that stuff matter man yeah and and you walked in purpose that's all it was and being organic and really seeing that Although you saying that, you know, your faith and so forth, we all human beings. So sometimes we waver in that faith really? because when you right. talk about really, your anxiety really. and, really, you right. know, the doubt and all right. of that. But yet you come right back to it and be like, isn't God good? Right. Giving him the glory because you see it. You know yeah, what right. I mean? I love that. And I yeah. can give a good example. At the end of the day, it's like taking a test. If you study for that test and you know everything on that test and you feel comfortable, when you get in there, what you do when you get that test? You're trying to, you, you you trying to kill that test. Yeah. So I think in life and all my opportunities, man, E, I grinded so hard. I worked so worked it, I believe it. hard, man, to where I couldn't sleep at night to where I felt like somebody was, was beating me. Mm. And my opportunity, and that's why I say with all my opportunities, I took advantage of it, not because I just was confident and cocky and believed in myself. Like, E, I put in crazy hours before this opportunity came. So when it came, it's like I knew all the answers to the Man. test. I remember when you was over here, like I said, I, I got mad as hell when he was in the field. I said, man, that nigga can't do beat me no push-up. I said, man, I, I still was trying to fight, yeah. and I didn't have nothing to fight with no more. I was so proud of you, though, yes. man. It just, we are proud of you. Me and my Appreciate wife, mm -hmm. we remember you. Uh, you was an introvert, really. He wasn't yeah, talking much. Yeah, he was quiet. Yeah, them was other niggas would fly. Quiet. He would real yeah, laid yeah. back. Especially yeah. E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E yeah, was the, really was the that one much. that was the, to call himself a player. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know. I'm not wrong with it. Yeah, man. But, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but I wanted to know so um because in the whole conversation you're talking about you always mention your wifey so how important was it to have her by your side man, during the is. whole transition man just she kind of kept me grounded you know what I'm saying is when, when you get to a certain point in your life to where you and kind of like and your, how old were you when she came into your life uh, my sophomore year in college so okay. we've been together almost 10 12 years okay yeah. So I, I, I call it like your godly form. Like when you come into that godly form in a sense of saying like, this is God's purpose for you. Mm -hmm. When you come into that form, uh, the people around you can be yes men. They can be not saying my, my circle was, mm -hmm. they can be yes men. It, you, can, you, can, you can do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And there's no precaution to it and you can be that person because when i was outside e everybody loved me everybody showed me love oh that's that's him that's him but when you come home to your your girl your wife it's like nah boy you you need to do this <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying you tripping you need mm -hmm. to so to kind of have that always there throughout my whole career man i didn't do a whole bunch of partying i didn't throw away a lot of my money so at the end of the day i can honestly say man my wife probably saved me 10 million dollars and you always valued her opinion and i always value i i, I always i always try to make her uh a equal to me mm -hmm. I, I i never put my money over her head i never put who i was over over my head because we always made decisions together Dope. And then I mean? also, because I know that going into the NFL, or, you know, you have those women out there. Oh, the yeah, NFL <laughs> player, I'm going because yeah. I'm going to be his wife. I'm going yeah. this, I'm going that. So I know you had all those ladies probably trying to hit on you and yeah, stuff like for that. Sure. How did you handle that? And you know, because you have. Yeah. We see all those scandals. We see all of those problems. Don't tell her everything. Man. No, you know, I don't tell her everything. But, but <laughs> because, then, <laughs> because then you have those people who get caught up in situations like yeah. that. How can they prevent that? Yeah, that's dope. How can you prevent that? It's really just, it's really just, man, the decisions that you make, just not putting yourself in, in, in that situation. Because I feel like a situation can get overwhelming 
into a point to where it's kind of out of control. I never put myself in a situation to where I wasn't in control. Uh, and I can really say that through over my whole period of time. And for me, E, like, you know what I mean? If, if a party is going on and if I ain't feeling it, like, I'm like, man, I'm, I, I leave. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and I sure. think that's the difference because, and I ain't going out of my way for nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think my advice is just don't put yourself in that situation. If you know any kind of hate or harm can come out of the situation, why even put yourself in that situation? You know what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of helped me throughout my whole career. Let me ask you this, man, because uh, you had, you after your mom passed, and I'm going back a little bit, but yeah. um, your sister and your father. Yeah. Boy, your dad look happy, boy. I was, I said, <laughs> man, this boy, didn't make, boy, you made the family happy. Your sister look happy. I watched yeah. all those pictures, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because I pay attention because I know where it's yeah. coming from, and yeah. I'm really looking and paying attention to the fact of how their lives changed in the yeah. midst of this as well. You know, I thought, yeah. how, how how did your sister react to, just over the years? <laughs> you know what? What's so funny, man? I'm going to tell you a funny story. My sister really don't understand football. <laughs> She don't. She don't know, like, understand, really touch down and first down. She just knew her brother was right. good. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? My sister didn't understand that I was famous and and I was who I was until the Super Bowl. So let's say four years into my career. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm getting her stuff, you know what I mean? Doing helping tuition in she college. Ain't she ain't tripping. This is what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she didn't really understand it until she went to a Super Bowl and like seen my picture on the side of the on the side of like the the uh, the dome in mm -hmm. uh, Houston and she was like Oh, okay, my brother is something now. <laughs> <laughs> Dope story. Man. Dad already knew he been pushing yeah, you the yeah, whole yeah. time. You like, know, he, he living through me. He, yeah. he is an in there. You can't tell, you can't him, tell him nothing. He didn't play. You man. know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, that then that little boy that looked like your twin to be <laughs> running around. Emmanuel keep taking pictures of him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. T, little Turbo yeah. is just in the building, junior, man. Junior, Junior, man. So, so um. Would you I, ever want him to be in the in NFL? You know what? I don't want him to play football. I, everybody say that. See, Who just what said I was that? Wondering. Was it? Yeah. Uh, oh, Carl Crawford said he yeah. didn't want his kids to nah, play. No, I don't want him to play football, man. Just because I've already done it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've already conquered that uh, within a whole lifetime span. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it it did anything to me, uh, but just saying like, man, I want him. I, I'm giving you the opportunity to go overseas and and play the trumpet or the violinist or something. You know, I'm giving yeah. you that opportunity to explore that, be an astronaut. Or, you might be surprised. He might turn around and want to be just like you. I know. And, and, and if he does, if he does, then I'm going to push him. But I'm going to push him in the in the, uh, in the the area to where to I, I to be all around to where I be an architect. You know what I mean? A, right. a developer, like a, a surgeon, like. I didn't get that opportunity to do that because I didn't know anything about college. Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm in college. I don't know anything. I'm I'm playing football, but he has that opportunity to do that. So if you want to go, how they what they say when the kids go overseas and uh, I don't know what they call it. You going overseas <laughs> and they doing school overseas. You yeah. know what yeah, I'm saying? Board schools. About, yeah. I, man, mm -hmm. go do that. You do know what I mean? Just have an opportunity. Do introduce yourself to a life that I wasn't introduced to. Exactly. You know. So what how I'm many saying? more do you want? I just, I just had one. Son, I know. Yeah. Got How many sons. more do you want? I'm done. Yeah. yeah. He done. You need a girl. No, he I done. Know, no, he said he knows. His wife know. probably ain't done. You need a girl. Yes. She it's called done. daddy's little she girl. Done. I know, man. I want I want a girl. See? Yeah, but it's all yeah, she good. Done. She, she done. done. Yeah. So so um just um far as you and Emmanuel have been friends ever <laughs> since. I gotta talk about that. Y'all been friends ever since y'all was young. Yeah. How 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 did y'all stay linked like you did? You know, I lost my best friend. He yeah. died in a car wreck. But man, I to, to, that. To, yeah, that was a long time ago. Now, shout out Michael Harrison, man. I still love you, and I love Michael Junior as well. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah you need to yeah. come on the show. But anyway, um, yeah, just um, how did y'all stay linked all these years? Uh, man, uh, he 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 kept he kept himself involved with me. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't. He, he could tell you that. Like. I don't I don't talk a lot. I don't I know. I'm mm -hmm. not the best of friends either. Like I'm not Really? I'm not the best of friends. Sometimes I can be 
alone by myself a you lot. Push, you push people away. I push people away. I can yeah. see that. And, and E is the person to where, like, he's the perfect, I guess he's the perfect friend for me because I'll push E away and e he'll, he'll, go, he'll go around the back door and be like, man, what you doing, dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's the friendship. You know what that's man? what friends do, yeah. man. That's Real friends friend. don't yeah. never leave your side yeah. no matter how you act or and, whatever. And, and, man, he, he never left. He never left. And it was nothing that I was on, just like some Hollywood stuff. It's just me. Like, E, man, I can chill by myself all day, every day, and yeah. be good. You know what I mean? Sit on the floor and play with pennies, lay down in my in my hammock. But E kept himself involved with me, man. He he, he actually he cared about me as a person. And, man, as men, like, I can honestly say, man, he, he loved on me, man, yeah. at the time to where I needed, needed it. it. At the mm-hmm. time that to where I didn't feel like I can trust anyone mm, and and, and he gave that to me and for a friend to kind of stay around me and stay kind of in my pocket like that uh i can only say that now I, i'm i'm pretty sure he can't believe i'm finna say that i can say this i can only say that i love him back come on you man. know what i'm saying come so, on man uh, come it, on it's, man it's very appreciative for man, sure i seen it i see i mean i, I see it now i mean yeah. it's it's something i'm just glad i got to see it yeah you, you blessed me by y'all letting me see what real, you, how real it can be. Why yeah. everybody else out here talking about how fake everybody is. Y'all kept it so 100, and, man. And it's real, man. Yeah. And, and you seen us together. We was together in this shop doing the push-ups. And, every yeah. time. Yeah. It, whether, whatever y'all was doing, y'all was doing it yeah. together. Yeah. And that's dope, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Genuine brotherhood. That's yeah, really yeah. Now let's. I want to get into the entrepreneurship yeah, a little bit. I want to get out. Let's talk a little bit about exiting the NFL and how that affected you, man. Because I know it couldn't have been easy because you love football yeah. so much. So. Um, it, it, man, in all honesty, I can say it was easy to me. It was easy. Like it was, it was easy to me just because I had, I had accepted. Uh, I came to a point to where I accepted what I did for the NFL and and my opportunity and my short window. And you heard my story, man. Mm-hmm. It, it was just so tiring. Yeah. Uh, keep having to prove myself and prove myself. But I came to a point to where I accepted it that, I mean, I did everything that I was supposed to do in this life. Now, it's time for me to to change somebody else's life. Like, I've hit my, you know what I mean, my totem pole and my goals, and I've got where I needed to be. Now, it's time for me to touch Emmanuel. It's time, if I can touch y'all, it's time for me to touch, touch y'all. It's time for me to uh, give something more valuable than money is my time. Yeah. So yeah. now it's, it's it's my time to to pour into my people. Yeah. Well, like I said, um, you couldn't wrote this out, man. Right. No, ain't no way in hell. <laughs> right. couldn't, nobody couldn't wrote this right, out. I right. mean, I it's couldn't. Do, if I'd have knew, I'd have came to every football yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I've been ten. But that's not the way God wanted it. Yeah. So I never wanted to play that part. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I looked at it. I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. When we was coming to Atlanta that time, I remember I was trying to oh, link yeah, up with you, yeah, 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 and yeah, I was yeah. just like, you know, if it happened, it happened. But if it don't, it don't. Yeah. I still love you, but I understand. You got a mission you got to do. Right. And then me, you know, I'm hustle yeah. mania. Yeah. I got my own thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. figure this out. Yeah. Like, okay, life is something else. No matter what you throw at me, I'm going to make it out of something. Mm-hmm. And that's the difference, E. That's the difference, like, uh, because when, when you got two friends who's grinding towards their goals and what they trying to do, they don't get caught up in the bullshit. I'm sorry. They don't Good. get caught up in the bullshit in the sense of uh, – Man, he ain't pick up the phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or uh, man, he he Hollywood. Or man, he's changed. Yeah. Because dog, I'm grinding, dog. Yeah. Like, I already you know, know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I see you calling, but shit, let me get this last set. Yeah. And this last set done turned into an hour, and then from that hour, I went into my entrepreneurship, and that turned into another hour. So at the end of the day, man, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And I I I, I forgot to hit you back, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. Exactly. So also, that means you're not working as hard as me. That's you know right. what I'm saying? If you waiting you on me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got, got too hands. much time. You got too much time on your hands, dog. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, and that's what I've already respected about you. <laughs> he is always kept it so, you know what I mean? A hundred work, man. Because he he, he grinded. He yeah. was his own boss. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bosses, bosses relate to other bosses. Right. You know Dope, what I'm saying? Man. And we supposed to be in a room with each other and sit at the dinner table together and eat with each other. You know what I'm saying? And create other bosses. So exactly. I can't I can't thank you. And yeah. I'm gonna keep it up. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I, I like I said, I, I respect the fact of what position God put me in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People For don't sure. look self-awareness again. Sure. Self-awareness is important. My wife, she had my back 
like this whole time. You've yeah. been seeing her ever since and you was I've a kid. And I've seen that. I've seen that with and, you. Yeah, I've seen that with like, you, for sure. Without her, I wouldn't be who I am right, right. now. So I know that, and I love you. Nah. Yeah, let's get it popping. <laughs> <laughs> so it might go down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, and I and I seen it. Well, it's so crazy because uh, it's just the influence of you seeing you grinding with your with your lady. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And as me, you it's good to see that, and I know that's normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got so many people who uh, get into position, and you never see their first lady. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. to see your first lady, your first lady's not just working; she's yeah. right beside right you. Right beside you. Me, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like as a man, you need that, dog. Definitely, man. But see, that. like, um, you're younger, so like for me, growing up, I know what you see it even more because the women were supposed to be at home, right, or, yeah. you know, behind the scenes. Right, right. They might have been in the business, but they weren't seen. It was right. mainly the men who were in front doing, right. doing what they do. Right. But I don't know if it was because of Jay-Z, Beyonce, or even power <laughs> couples yeah, yeah, and yeah, celebrities. Yeah. Like, it became a thing where yeah. all of a sudden everybody on social media was showing more, you know, power couples, yeah. them grinding together. So you, it, it's more prevalent now in today's society. Than but the difference, be. but the difference is when 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 you pick a partner, you pick a partner. You know what I'm saying? And the difference is with y'all when you picked your partner, you wasn't just picking her just off her looks. No, you was picking her because of her mind. You knew what she could bring to you. You know what I'm saying? Now, E, uh, I think we should do it this way. Someone that can correct you even when you was wrong well, and it, you can respect it. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I wrote a letter to God, man. <laughs> Being real. He did. Maybe I need to write yeah, a letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote a letter <laughs> of should, appreciation. I should have been more, res more pretty much detailed <laughs> on what I wanted. I just said I want a pretty woman. I can't look at no ugly woman all day, God. Yeah, I, I need a woman that's going to help me when I need her and and, yeah. and he did. He gave me everything I asked yeah. for and more. So I can't even be I can't even be mad at him. Um, so entrepreneurship coming uh, out. Uh, I seen the uh, trucks. It looked like some bobtails or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I seen that, and I seen y'all pushing hard. Yeah. Uh, explain to me what that is, and kind of give me some details on it. Man, when the pandemic came, uh, I seen a lot of people losing jobs, and I seen a lot of people kind of they didn't have a way to 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 you know what I mean to pay for stuff like yeah. everybody losing their job so I'm like man I got with E and Josie I'm like man what's a way to where we can help people what's a mm -hmm. way to where we can supply people jobs what's something that that can't go out of business Amazon. during the pandemic <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Amazon. Too. Amazon. That was hard. I never used hard. to order from them as much but <laughs> once the pandemic hit right. it's like my order started I just they were the only Amazon, ones you could you, you, you see in the bro. trucks everywhere Amazon so man what's so crazy is I bought a box truck and uh, man I drove like I was working for Amazon for about did six months did you need a CDL for it? no nah, you don't need a CDL just a, just a just regular driver's license okay. you just yeah. wanted to do it I wanted to like as experience a boss you want to experience you want to know right. your business yeah. so I worked like I was working behind the scene I mean I had a mask on nobody knew who I was and one day, I think I was late to something eat, and I like took off running. And uh, the manager, whatever who is that's over everything, he was like, "Man, man, you fast as hell, man." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he, "He was like, man, you fast as hell, man. You should think about playing football." <laughs> I'm like, "Man, you know what? Yeah, I, I think I should play football." And I think you uh, mellow. <laughs> and I think he, uh, I had messed up and like drove one of my cars there one night because uh. I my other my, my little dugout car wasn't available. So man, I'm at Amazon and, and, and a Lamborghini. So <laughs> he come outside and he see me jump in it and then man we get to talking and just pouring things out and at the end of the day he was a big fan of mine. Wow. So E that opened up so many doors for me to take from me driving, learning it to now we having ten lanes. So ten lanes with box trucks, we have ten trucks going each night. So I've supplied my sister works for me, Whoa. my my wife's cousin works for me. Uh my my cousin, my cousin cousin, my sister's cousin, like man, it's, love it's, love it's it. like you ever had a family with my like man, let me hold twenty dollars now. You can't hold twenty dollars. You can drive this box mm -hmm. truck. Uh, yeah, I did you know that, but it was the wrong way. But I used way. to always hear that is it's the worst thing to hire a family. It's not. It's called <laughs> know how you organize your business. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I've ran into some things, but my heart is so big, man. Is I'm gonna give you an opportunity till you cross me, and when you do cross me, I'm gonna keep a business. And I'm gonna fire you. That's right. You know what I mean. That's right. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna play with you you know what I'm saying because if you play with my money then I, that mean I gotta play with yours you know what yeah, I'm saying that's right. so I'm gonna cut it off I'm not gonna play with it too much so uh, man I probably hired maybe over 
20 to 30 Maybe 50 people uh, In your family not, not no, my just family Just, just in general yeah, After the pandemic okay. That's needed a job, job And an opportunity To, to mm-hmm. pay for their rent So with that We created that Emmanuel's in that I uh, see And man that run itself Man I don't even My my uh, my uh, wife's uh, cousin And my sister And she, my wife Actually runs that oh, business Yeah, yeah she run it Like I don't even Put my hands on it anymore dope. I'm more of in the uh, Development Real estate life right That's now. what I was going to ask you about next. You had told me about the real estate. Now, what's going on with that? Uh, with real estate, I do affordable housing. So it's between two hundred and fifty and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So it's more of a millennial type group. Anybody who's into like first home buying, I'm building those. And I'm not just building those. I'm building it to where it's like I will live in it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. it's nice. It has like nice amenities of kind of a million dollar house. So yeah. it's, it looks good. And to build homes and not just build homes, I've been in preparation of building communities. So 20 homes and 60 homes and uh, cooperating in, in, in uh conjoining JVs with like a Jack Matthews. Jack Matthews is a developer who built the Omni Hotel. Oh. oh. Yeah, so and 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 Dick LeBlanc's and he's a guy who's built communities around Texas. Yeah. I've you seen know that. What's I mean? the name of your company? Uh Gabriel You're Property building? Solutions. Okay. Yeah. So uh stuff like that, man, and just having the opportunity to expand my portfolio and and it's never for a personal. I mean, as a businessman, you got to have a little, you know what I mean? You got to have some business and cash flow coming in. But it's more to put people in position. You've been saying it the yeah. whole time. My, my builder is a younger black guy, younger black gentleman, uh, Core Homes, K-O-R-E Homes. And uh, he's my age and he's just been, he's been building. So I gave him an opportunity to build a community, build wow. this 14 home community for me. I see you've been doing onesies and twosies. Now let me give you the opportunity to build this community and mm-hmm. become of you know what I mean a that's home dope. builder. Yeah, so. because that's what home buyers. Because I remember when we were looking at when I be um, window shopping looking at homes. <laughs> I should say. Oh, 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 I always look for certain builders because I know that uh-oh. they do certain things all the time, yeah. and that's what I look for. Because yeah. even like me, I don't like upstairs downstairs homes. Yeah, but. Not many builders give you the room you need yeah. if you don't go up. Right. But there was this one builder that that's all they did. Yeah. So I know that I don't want to look at no other homes except but from that one. Yeah. Let's right. Go. So that's the reason why I was like, make sure you say the name of your builder. Yeah. yeah. So, Core for, homes, so people can know yeah. what to look for. Core homes. K O R E homes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you um, um, is there, well, First of all, everything you said is about helping people. You keep saying yeah. that. You keep saying, yeah. I want to help people. people I want to provide an opportunity, put people in position. That's what that's what it's all about. <laughs> and starting that's what businesses. It's all about. Yeah. So when you're an entrepreneur, you don't just start one business and stick with that one business. You, right. you, okay, start it. It can run on its own. Let me go into something else. Right. Keep moving. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. Go ahead. You, you go oh, ahead. And, no, and, and, and it just kind of piggybacks on kind of my opportunities. I like to be the best at whatever I'm doing. If I'm E and I'm doing this podcast, it's similar to what he was saying. Man, I want to be the best at it. So I'm not going to have my, my hands in a whole bunch of other cookie jars. I'm going to focus on being being the best at, it, best at it. So Amazon, that thing it is rolling on itself within its own. And with this... Uh, it's rolling pretty good as well. So now I, I'm venturing off and uh, opening this PT clinic with uh, Emmanuel. I'm pretty sure that's y'all dope. Mm-hmm. That's that dope. That's sure. dope. That's uh, dope. I, I want to ask about that tequila. Ah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I know you, you got something me. going yeah, yeah. with the tequila. Uh, what's the name of it? So I and I'm supposed to be having some yeah, on here. Got, yeah, we gonna have. We some, gonna pull some. this table up. Yeah. I ain't got no sponsorship, <laughs> nigga. I need some tequila. Yeah, in here. I got you. I and got I don't you. drink or nothing. Yeah. You know that. Hey, I, don't, I don't drink either. I, even I when you was a kid here, yeah. I never. I, yeah. I quit drinking in '95. Yeah. So at well, the end, I stopped drinking. What you stopped for? How long? Uh, about a year. That's good. Yeah. That's a big. you giving it up? Uh, I mean, I indulge with some red wine. <laughs> that's a, that's, yeah, that's a wine. I don't even wine, I gave but. up the hard liquor and just you know red wine occasionally. Yeah, yeah. I, I indulge. I definitely want to. It's good for the heart. Yeah. I want to have that tequila in here. Yeah, it's gonna I'm, be everywhere. I need. Yeah. It, I need it to be right I'm here where everybody right, talking. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put when it you there. Have, when you have Barack Obama right here, right. I need that. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. I already had the. Who had the prime? Almost the prime minister, Haiti. Yeah. Yeah, I had him already. Yeah. I'm working. Yeah. So yeah, you know, tell him we'll get. 
ain't Moroccan. He ain't president no more. With a nice display. Yeah. Make it all cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Get you but right. Thank you, man. Uh, I, I just don't know what else to even say to him. <laughs> my boy here, man. My boy Gabriel Taylor's in the building. I'm just trying to figure out if you got something else to yeah. say. Because um, I'm going to get him out of here. I know, but one more thing. Because with having all of the, well, two more things. With, all, with having all these different businesses, um, I just say you don't want to have too many hands in, you yeah, know, too many cookie jars and stuff sure. like that. Do you ever go back? I know your wife run one, so yeah. you, you don't have to worry about that at all. But would you go back to make sure that everybody's doing what you, what they're supposed to be doing? Because, you know, yeah. you, when you're not looking, yeah, 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 people yeah. get ahead of themselves sometimes. Yeah, uh, I mean, I always check in. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I do, like, weekly check yeah. in. So okay. I'm, all, I'm there. I'm always there. But in the day-to-day, the kind of the, the grit of the business, I'm not – as you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you can be like, um, well, the owner of McDonald's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is he at all McDonald's? No. 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 You have to find someone. At the end of the day, in, in business and in entrepreneurship, you have to find some trust in someone to where they take care of your business and know that it's a team aspect and we're all going to the same goal. So if you need me, I'm here and I'll definitely be checking in. But I mean, if I'm trying to delegate everything and, and, and trying to be focused on things, I need to make sure that I trust that person that, that who's, in, who's in control with it. My problem oh. is I don't ever want a loss, yeah. you know, but I know that cause when you think about McDonald's, you know, people over there taking, <laughs> you know, chicken nuggets and not paying yeah. for it and doing stuff. But right. at the same time, looking at the bigger picture, they're making so much money right. that the little losses probably don't even right. matter. Right and and it, yeah, it, I mean if I take if I take a loss I, if I take a loss I take a loss. But at the end of the day, like man, my heart is so big to where if I do take a loss, that means somebody crossed me. Mm-hmm. And if you cross me, it's a good thing that I figured that out. I have yeah. one more question got, before we get to that. Um, give me your top three NFL players of all time. Oh wow, dead or alive? Yeah, she man. do this to everybody. Yeah, 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 she got you. Uh, uh, Julio, Julio Jones. Julio, he's okay. your number one. He's my number one, man. Okay, he, he, Julio Jones. Shout out Julio from. Jones. Yeah, Julio man. Jones. I say Julio Jones. Uh, who else? I'm going with people that I played with. Okay. okay. That's fine. I'm going to go Julio Jones. I'm going to go, um, man. I'll go Andrew Hawkins, man. He'll he, he, he smaller wide, wide receiver, and he's going to like this whenever he's <laughs> Andrew <laughs> Hawkins. I don't want to blow, blow his head up. <laughs> I go Andrew Hawkins, man, and I go me. Hey, oh, yeah. that, that's a good choice, man. <laughs> Turbo know, in the man. building, man. So we wanted to bless you with just something to show our token appreciation. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got you. Uh, oh, definitely got, got you. Turbo. Yeah, you got you got the word at. Yeah, just you got the word at right there for sure. You you know definitely it on. Yeah, you got the word at for sure, man. Like like it ain't like it ain't no tomorrow. Hold on. Yeah, man, we just always try to show love, man. Yeah, Definitely got to show love. My boy, what Solo Luigi say the other night? Man, don't let nobody sit in that seat unless they put the boss talk jog on. Yeah, yeah, I said, okay. Put it on right now. Put it on right now. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, man. So, hey, man, we just wanted to try to bless you. And also, man, we are, we just always, we always, we started off this thing uh, doing things like we're about to do here with you, uh, giving you a, uh, a plaque that tells you oh, know man. yeah just 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 showing you love <laughs> on, on, on on the fact yeah, that leave. that's what we do we love over here man I, can I come back man is <laughs> my we, interview over no with? no it's <laughs> getting close yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got presents I want to come so, back so we say? would like to give you this plaque for Taylor Taylor Gabriel man. in recognition for your hard work and dedication in the National Football League. Now become an exceptional entrepreneur. Wow. Blessed to have witnessed your journey. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. it right that's there. That's amazing, man. And we, back, we had that. already got it for you, man. so we, just, we we love hard over here, man. Man. You know cool. what I'm saying? I appreciate oh, on, that, man. man. We love Thank hard, you, man. I really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, we love hard, to man. be honest with you. And that's what's been going on over here ever since we started this platform. Because we want to give people their roses while they're here. It says 2021 here. because yeah, yeah. you're we, supposed to come in 2021. You know what happened. But something happened. That was a big deal, too. Your friend passed away. Yeah, but thank Sorry, you so much, man. We love you, Taylor, man. We always love you. You was in our life uh, now for, man, decades, right? Yeah. Mm. And we ain't going to never man. let you go, man. It's a lifetime thing Appreciate over here, it, man. man. Appreciate it. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss yeah. Talk 101 yeah. where the bosses out. talk. Okay, Taylor. Boss Talk would love to present you with this award to mm. tell you 
all the amazing things you've been doing. Thank you, okay? thank you. So it says, presented to Taylor Gabriel in recognition for your hard work and dedication in the National Football League, now becoming an exceptional mm. Entrepreneur, I like that. Blessed to have witnessed your journey. Hey, thank you, thank man, you, thank man. We love you, man. Just trying to give you a rose. Love too, man. You know love we love too. you. Stop playing. It. <laughs> it's real. That's real love. Thank y'all. Check it, man.